So, hybrid potential in Dragon Ball is basically a Saiyan on crack. Yeah, I mean, I hate to say it like that, but uh, it's kind of the truth. And we all know that it gets balanced out by the whole idea that they don't really like to fight because of their human side. It's kind of crazy to think that you can go from one extreme to another. Because, let's be honest, there are humans in this world and in uh, on Earth in general that do like to fight. So, the fact that you go from this Saiyan hungry for battle and so on and so forth to basically not wanting to fight at all especially what we've seen with gohan don't get it twisted there's nothing wrong with not wanting to fight but i mean in this case of the world of dragon ball you kind of want to be able to fight or kind of want the urge to fight because if you're not strong then well you die so what would have happened if hybrid saiyans actually love to fight and I kind of thought about this with the whole, you know, a lot of people have done. What if Gohan always trained? But even in that, Gohan didn't really love to fight. And really the same thing with Goten and Trunks. Really, when you look at right before Dragon Ball Superhero, they kind of are useless. I hate to say it like that, but the last time they were useful was in the Boo Saga. The Boo Saga where he, they took on Super Boo and still didn't defeat him, even though arguably he probably could have if they just went all out right from the very beginning. But that's kind of beyond the point, right? That's the last time they were useful, but they were also only useful because they fused. But even with all that said, hybrid potential is so insane that if hybrids of Saiyans, so basically a Saiyan slash human, love to fight, I mean, it would probably change Dragon Ball forever. Well, let's just start with the future timeline, right? We have a Gohan and a Trunks that love to fight. And yes, they are restrained in terms of growth because of, well, the whole running away from the androids and evading them and so on and so forth. Because they might love to fight, but they're not stupid. And that's what kind of the whole hybrid potential gives them, right? We have a half Saiyan, half human. So logically speaking, they would know, hey, we can't just take on these androids willy-nilly because we'll, well, die. So in that future timeline, I could definitely see them getting more out of every bit of training they're even able to do. Don't get me wrong, the, th the training still wouldn't be as fruitful as it really could be. But still, they might even be able to defeat the androids. And yes, there probably would still be an urge to go back in time for help and hopefully kind of restore everything so i could still see it happening the same way where trunks goes back in time or maybe even both of them to where they're trying to get help from goku from the past z fighters right but let's just go to kind of where gohan would originally be born right so go on being born it would be definitely an interesting scenario because yes even though he would love to fight chi chi would be pretty insistent on him studying so he would get more training for say in terms of like his off time would be spent mostly training because of his love for fighting but being chi chi and how she always is she would force him literally force him to study and maybe if this actually happened in dragon ball we probably like gohan a little bit more just because you know no one really likes chi chi in the first place or maybe if you do a shout out to you but at least me growing up not many of my friends or myself liked chi chi but it was more because of the fact that we were like oh well she's not well allowing gohan to train but it was really kind of a combination of her not allowing him but also him not wanting to train but in this reality it would be more of she doesn't want him to train even though he wants to so it'd be a pretty big difference in this reality for sure now with that said gohan would continue training and all of these arcs even up to radis would be a lot different right so gohan would definitely inflict more damage on raditz when they fight or when he loses his temper i mean at the end of the day a love for fighting plus a temper or rage boost would probably change that damage he did on on the saiyan's chest drastically and even if goku does die which would most likely happen no matter what goku goes away gohan being trained by piccolo 
would be absolutely insane and arguably go or arguably gohan would actually be the strongest of the z fighters even beyond piccolo there is definitely an argument there especially because if they train together quite a bit gohan will evolve far quicker than piccolo possibly could so the fight with the saiyans would go relatively similar but i could see gohan absolutely destroying nappa like it's not even close and the w only way piccolo would end up dying would have to come from vegeta and that possibly could happen just because vegeta feels angry about something or tries to take a cheap shot so on and so forth but gohan seeing this shoot he might even injure vegeta quite a bit if not mortally wound him so goku wouldn't even necessarily kind of have a chance to fight vegeta that much it would probably end up being with a vegeta down for the count and leaving trying to leave through his space pod which we all know goku would allow him to do but now we'll talk about this right here right let's talk about the gravity training going to namek yes there also is a chance that it just doesn't happen because goku isn't like really really wounded but in my eyes i mean in all reality with the love of fighting between both him and goku knowing the gap in power that vegeta really had they need to have some sort of training and that gravity training would be their way to success at least going towards namek so if they go towards namek with some of the people there that were killed being that of probably like a piccolo or tien or yamcha Yamcha would still definitely die. There's no doubt in my mind that he wouldn't. So the travel to Namek would definitely be beneficial for Gohan and Goku. I mean, we're talking about a Gohan that loves the fight, a Goku that loves the fight, and their training partners in a gravity chamber going all the way up until 100 times gravity. Yeah, Gohan could arguably eclipse his own father very, very quickly. Very quickly. So this would kind of turn into a fest of hey who can kill frieza first because at the end of the day frieza would stand absolutely no shot especially with a gohan vastly stronger and a goku vastly stronger with the kaioken so frieza wouldn't necessarily even be an issue super saiyan wouldn't would probably not happen though that's kind of the caveat here yes they would win on namek yes it would be probably a pretty bree a pretty easy breezy type of fight but yeah, Super Saiyan just wouldn't exist yet. And it would end up existing, of course, because of, well, the future time travelers. We have Gohan or future Gohan and future Trunks arrive and show off Super Saiyan. So they would easily be able to know of, his, of its existence. And, tr and Trunks and Gohan would tell them to prepare for the androids that are bound to come in three years. Now, this is a time skip to be very 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 particular with just for the whole sole purpose of they would just non-stop train there'll be no doubt about it so they know the threat they know what's coming gohan would be right beside goku the entire time training 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 he wouldn't even care about studying he would probably even convince chi chi hey let me train because well there are killer androids coming in three years and we need to be ready so Gohan training throughout this time with Goku, it would probably even lead to him reminding Goku, hey, take the heart virus medicine and stop being an idiot. So Go Gohan kind of being in this scenario would advance not only their training, but also kind of limit the stupidity that Goku goes through from here, here and there. Don't get me wrong, Goku is a decently smart person just to an extent i mean the whole heart virus thing was absolutely ridiculous like i don't understand why he didn't just take the medicine but that's beyond the point but the three years leading up to the androids would be absolutely insane in terms of training gohan would exceed all expectations there's probably an argument to be made that they would be way beyond super saiyan maybe maybe even a grade four super saiyan maybe even further than that you really don't know Three years is a long time, and constant training with hybrid potential is just ridiculous, and Goku wouldn't really be able to keep up with Gohan. I mean, of course he would try, and that would even help Goku in the long run too, but Gohan's potential, 
his his love for fighting just makes things absolutely ridiculous in terms of his quality of kind of exceeding expectations like the androids would be an absolute cakewalk the real challenge would 100 percent be sell and you might be thinking hey well how would they even revive android 7 or how would android 17 and 18 be awakened excuse me and that's a great question they wouldn't be they would definitely not be awakened but here's the thing right we have Android 20 and 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 Dr. Jero die. Well, the androids are kind of going to just sit there as long as possible all the way up until, well, you know, the cell that we know that comes back in time more or less goes and absorbs them. So we definitely see that cell be awakened. Now, with that said, the cell that's there could even destroy the lab maybe destroy the lab maybe kind of obliterate everything there so i don't think their present time cell would even survive because even if that present time cell did survive the z fighters would most likely still find the lab and decide hey we kind of don't want another version of that thing coming back but um luckily enough cell is as cocky as he is because he tells them that they're going to have a bit of a cell games they're gonna have fun so this would benefit the hybrid potential of gohan drastically i mean we're talking about a cell that is very strong but it would be about the same strength as normal he wouldn't be that much stronger if not stronger at all he would be exactly the same as canon so when gohan and goku step through that that hyperbolic time chamber i mean come on this is no joke this is no joke at all how good that training would be especially with two well a son and a father that absolutely love fighting i mean come on gohan loves fighting goku loves fighting years worth of training they would easily easily surpass anything so could really put in front of them and well go or vegeta and trunks let's just say trunks would probably have more benefits than even vegeta and of course there would have, there would be a bit of a kind of a training debacle with the whole future gohan future trunks who trains with who vegeta probably would want to go on his own and so on but hey that's completely fine future trunks and future gohan would get insane training from this as well when they came back just to make sure everything was okay and well that hybrid potential would boost them severely severely and so would be a breeze i'm just gonna say it how it is gohan being able to will kind of channel that love for fighting or gain that love for fighting would make cell an absolute breeze and i i i mean it's obvious that it would be a very similar situation after they the very long time skip all the way to boo even if boo was awakened the training they get throughout this whatever seven years or something like that would make it so it is very 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 easy for them to defeat anything thrown at them I mean, they probably would just kill Bobbity and Deborah before anything happens. The little magic that, that Shin does on Gohan wouldn't even work. I mean, Gohan is so strong that they wouldn't even be able to get the amount of energy they need. And like I said, even if Boo is awakened, there is an argument to be made that Gohan is so strong at this point that it literally does not matter. They would die. They would be gone just like that. Now... With that said, I personally see it going one way, and that's Gohan, Gohan specifically, training with the Kais. And the reason why I say this is because his human side still yearns for others' protection, right? Most Saiyans, not including Goku, of course, most Saiyans thirst for battle and don't really care about aftermath, right? But Gohan is a little different. He loves fighting, but on top of his love for fighting, he loves protecting. He wants to make sure his family is safe. He wants to make sure his loved ones are safe, friends are safe, all of this. And the fact is, being a Kai would be perfect in terms of that. And let's just say the Kais themselves would probably see Gohan as a perfect type of candidate to be put in this situation. Now, with that said, would Goku do the same thing? 
maybe maybe not goku might see this as a great training opportunity which is definitely a goku thing to do and goku might join him and train with gohan as much as possible and frankly maybe the kais even see this as a benefit so goku would go there but i can kind of let that go if you feel hey goku probably wouldn't go there with the kais i understand that i would i kind of could see where you come from but with gohan going with the kais he could easily keep up with his training in terms of utilizing the z sword he could easily be kind of like that kai in training learning the kai kai learning some other techniques and so on and so forth and once that z sword breaks because we all know it will because goku would surely visit him from time to time to get some good training in or gohan would bring him to get some good training in once that sword breaks and they can convince Elder Kai to awaken Gohan's potential. We're looking at a Gohan that is so strong that it kind of makes most things null and void. I mean, Beerus coming, don't get me wrong. I, there's an argument that Gohan could be stronger than Beerus. But, I mean, depends on the Beerus we're talking about, right? Because Beerus' strength gets redconned a lot. So, most likely... Beerus would be stronger than Gohan, but a, a a potential awakened Beerus or a potential awakened Gohan to fight Beerus, excuse me, would be pretty darn strong. And there's no argument there about how strong that would really be, because we know how potential unlocked works. There's um there's even a new form that just came out with Beast Gohan, so there would be a chance that he would even awaken his Beast form early on, because of his love for fighting. It kind of fits the name perfectly, especially because his love for fighting makes him just a little smidge more primal, more of that say inside of him. So it's kind of perfect. And would Beerus and Whis take him on as a student? Yeah, most likely. I mean, the potential of this kid and how strong he really is would make for a insane, insane training partner, insane person to work with, insane kind of you know just saying to fight and Beerus loves that that thrill of someone that strong and Gohan would definitely give him that now Goku and Vegeta on the other hand would be in a bit of a predicament because at the end of the day maybe Whis and Beerus or Beerus specifically doesn't see them fully fit to join and it would probably take Gohan bringing up the fact that that his father being that of Goku training with him makes him grow exponentially so that would probably be the conversation that would have to convince Beerus to bring both Goku and Vegeta but as always you know got to bring that good food for Beerus himself but let's just say it is Gohan it is Goku it is Vegeta all three of them go they all three go to Beerus's planet and they begin training most of the things that happen from here on out would go pretty darn similar, if not exactly the same or better in favor of, well, you know, Goku, Vegeta, and also Gohan. Um, but even with that said, let's talk about the little kid version of Trunks and Goten. Unfortunately, unfortunately, there would be no fusion technique. And I'll be the first to tell you, that the fusion technique with Trunks and Goten would be super, super strong. It would be ridiculous. Because while, yes, they are on their own, they have each other, best friends basically, to train all the time. Of course, Chi Chi and Bulma would kind of want them to study and that there's no point of training. We have Goku and Vegeta. But since they love fighting, anytime they have extra, they are together in gravity training or they're together training in general. So their power is climbing rapidly. Now, yes, they don't have the fusion technique, which is pretty tough. Just speaking on the fact that, well, if they had the fusion technique, like I said, they would be really, really powerful. But any chance they get, they work with Gohan. Any chance they get, they work with Goku, with, with Vegeta. And even Vegeta and Goku, and Gohan, of course, are pretty prideful over the fact that Trunks and Goten are rapidly growing in strength. Like, it's insane how fast they're growing in strength. 
it's amazing how fast and it's just impressive to them that the little kids trunks and goten are just rapidly growing training and just kind of even surpassing where they were at that age and it's not even close like far surpassing where they were at that age right now with that said though it does kind of suck because in my opinion there is no way two little kids are going to go to beerus's planet hate to say that but that's the truth of it um beerus doesn't want him there weiss i guarantee doesn't want him there but you know who would be perfect perfect to train both the goten and trunks because well they don't have a student no more because he was swooped up by weiss and beerus the kais now this might seem a little outlandish and i agree it is a little bit out there but at the same time they know how strong gohan was imagine the little brother of gohan and maybe even the son of vegeta they're like pure-hearted saiyans but they love to fight and i guarantee they would want to evolve quickly to try and protect those around them so the supreme kai and many others actually decide to take it upon themselves to actually kind of get them training yes they wouldn't be able to leave planet for as long as gohan was leaving planet but still being able to have the kai kai being able to to leave once they're done with their schoolwork and all that they just immediately leave to the kai's world and train 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 and train not only are they making two amazingly strong warriors with amazing techniques and arguably even their potential unlocked which would make them insanely strong. I mean, we're talking about two absolute, absolute prodigies, man. Prodigies in terms of hybrids. And now they have the potential unlocked or the mystic form, which could end up leading them to their own version of a beast form. Come on. That would be absolutely freakish. And whatever battle happens here on out, doesn't necessarily even matter that's what hybrid potential does that's how strong hybrid potential is we're talking about saiyans that are or half saiyans and half humans that grow at insane rates but they love to fight they don't they don't want to oh i don't want to go and be a teacher i don't want to go and be a professor i don't want to go and do this or do that no i just want to fight all, all my off time i just want to fight that is absolutely insane. And that would make Trunks and Goten absolutely and immensely powerful. I mean, of course, they probably wouldn't have their beast forms for a while. I mean, they are young kids, but they are prodigies far beyond Boo Saga level. Like, far beyond Boo Saga level. Even maybe even farther. And maybe even they have a little tap a tap in of god key because of the fact they're training with supreme kai of course there's a there's a chance that that's not the case at all i mean that's fine too but at the end of the day their strength is immense because they've been training with a kai they have pure hearts and they are more or less kaizen training and since they're kaizen training they both get a little earring and they're told and they're told that do not swap this earring because if that earring gets swapped they will merge together forever and there is a conversation about if it will last forever and well supreme kai brings up the fact that well if mortals use it it actually only lasts about an hour but the issue is if they're technically supreme kais which they kind of are in training if they fuse they might not unmerge, which would kind of be a scary notion. So they they kind of talk to Supreme Kai and say, hey, let's just say we're not Supreme Kai's in training, at least for the time being. And of course, Supreme Kai would laugh about this a little bit, but agree to it. At the end of the day, he does have some strong beings that could help around the universe, at least kind of monitor it, at least when they can. And there's no there's no want to kind of break that perfect relationship they have at this moment now let's talk about goku black right the future gohan and and trunks probably could defeat goku black um zamasu of course 
is a little different, especially for the fact that he's immortal. But a future Gohan and a future Trunks that love to fight could easily defeat Goku Black, in my opinion. And like I said before, they would even most likely be working with the Kais as well. Because if you know Dragon Ball Super, that 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 does happen at one point where future Trunks works with the Kais and they defeat Dabura and Bobbity before Majin Buu's release. So I definitely could see them working with the Kais and definitely see them being able to defeat Goku Black. That's just the fact of it. The defeat of Goku Black, and I'm sure they'll find some sort of way to seal away Zamasu. And frankly, that would probably be through the Supreme Kai or something like that, right? So that would be pretty easy to work itself out. And if we're talking about the Tournament of Power, oh my goodness. I mean, we have a Trunks and Goten far stronger. We have a Gohan, Goku, and Vegeta far stronger. Because the fact is, I mean... Gohan would make Vegeta and Goku have something to strive for so they would be even stronger as well and going into the tournament of power probably wouldn't need a revive Frieza and even if resurrection F happened like I said that would be handled very easily but they most likely wouldn't even need to invite Frieza just add the normal people that are in it but we also have Goten and Trunks to kind of fill in the extra slots for people that are slightly weaker and the Tournament of Power would be very easy. The defeat of Jiren would be kind of the main thing. But I would love to see this because imagine a Patara fused Goten and Trunks, right? And so a Gotenks, for say. I know it would probably be more like a Trunktin, but let's be honest, Gotenks sounds way better. So let's just say a Patara fused Gotenks with a Beast Gohan with a whatever state goku and gohan are, or goku and vegeta are in most likely beyond super saiyan blue maybe even eventually an ultra instinct goku against like a jiren a, a god of destruction topo i mean this fight wouldn't even be fair it wouldn't even be close and maybe some of you will bring up moro and granola everything will fall exactly the same right at the end of the day moro would be taken down Yes, I know there's no Boo, but there are multiple, multiple people that have trained with Supreme Kai's, and they have some sort of magical background, so no doubt in my mind they would be able to defeat Moro. There's just no doubt in my mind at all. So I think this kind of clears up the whole fact of uh, why hybrids don't like fighting, because like I said, if hybrid Saiyans loved to fight, let's just say Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball in general would be so drastically different and so much easier that it wouldn't even feel like the Goku and Vegeta show. It would actually feel like back when Toriyama wanted to shift the reins over to Gohan, you know, it would feel more like that for sure. Gohan, Trunks, Goten, they would absolutely take over. Their potential would allow them to surpass Goku and Vegeta, and they would absolutely leave their fathers in the dust. Now, with that said, what do you think would have happened if hybrid Saiyans actually love to fight? Now, I would love to see what you think in the comment section below. Let me know. Um, keep it civilized. I know some people aren't very nice in the comment sections, um, but still... Nonetheless, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Keep it civilized in the comment section below about what you think. And make sure to leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment down below. All that good stuff. And I hope all y'all have an amazing day. Later.